Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm gonna be doing a really quick video on how I take my photos. My photos are like probably something that I do the most in my life. I take at least 100 photos a day and then I delete them, and then I edit them, and then I post one or two, which is like sounds like a lot of work, but it is. I'm not gonna lie, it is, but I'm just gonna tell you all the things that I do to make my photos like at least high quality, at least I think they're, it's quality. I think I improve my photos every day, but this is how I really get my photos to be the best that I can or that they can be. The first thing, as you probably guessed, is lighting. Lighting is very important, but people don't realize that you can really use lighting of any kind to your advantage. A lot of people are probably like why does she have something bright in the background like how is it not making her face like dark you know because i'm facing away from the lighting but i have a ring light right here a ring light really helps with photos that are face on and that are facing when you're facing away from things that are really bright because without my ring light my face will look like this let me turn it off really quickly right that ain't it it is very bright to look at but i have adjusted which is probably why I have really bad eyesight, but it is what it is. But using lighting to your advantage, you wanna take it either early in the morning or late at night when you're taking photos because that's when the sun is starting to go down or it's starting to come up. So it's at an angle where it's actually facing you. It's not on top of you. When you take photos where the light is on top of you, the sun is like coming down on you and you don't want that because it just, it casts a shadow on places that are deeper in your face, like your eyes or something, or like under your nose. You wanna make sure the lighting is hitting every crevice of your face, every pimple, everything is getting hit by the lighting. Also, when you take photos during um, golden hour or something, it kind of dims down your blemishes, which brings me to the next thing. Take your phone off of HDR. I know that it gives a higher quality photo, but it brings out all of your blemishes and it creates it harder for you to edit your photos. And I try not to edit every single photo that I have, so my phone is not on HDR. It basically just exposes all of your pimples, all of your dark spots, all of your hyperpigmentation, all that is all out there. Um, Third thing, do not let your insecurity stop you from taking a photo. For a while, if you look at my Instagram, I only took face photos. And lately I have started taking body photos and that is because I've let my insecurities go. I'm still very, I'm still a very insecure person, no doubt, but I don't let my insecurities stop me from taking a photo. One, if it's really that serious, you can edit them out. But two, um, most likely no one else is gonna look at them. Some of the photos I hate the most on my Instagram are the photos that people comment and like the most. So don't let your insecurity stop you from taking that photo because most likely it's cute anyway. Um, background is key. The reason why I decided to film so many videos here is because I really love this background. I really love how it looks and everything. I love how it looks. Oh my God, my hair, my kitchen probably all out there. I don't care. I really like how it looks. So I'm like literally, I filmed like six videos while I'm, while I'm here on vacation because I really want this background. I really like it. And I wanna have videos in front of it. But also when you're doing that, you wanna make sure your background is bright and it matches what's going on on your face, you know? So right now, this ring light is making my face bright. My background is bright. One of the reasons I hate shooting in my dorm is because it's so dark all the time and my face is usually bright, my personality is bright, and all my Instagram photos are bright. So you won't see very many pictures of me inside because I like everything outside because I like everything bright. Um, another thing for background is make sure you are in the center of your photos. Sometimes it's okay to be in the corner or be off to the side, but usually you want to keep yourself in the center because symmetrical photos just look better and it just looks nicer when you put it all together on your Instagram or your Twitter or whatever it is. It's just nice to have yourself in the center and have yourself as the focus and everything else going on around you kind of adds to you but not subtracts from you, just has you as the center. Get what I'm saying? Um... Know what your best side is and know your angles. I am doing okay with angles, but sometimes you can even look up at other Instagram models or other people, I'm not an Instagram model, but other people that you really like photos of and try and mimic their angles because they know their angles if they have a similar face to you. Um, my, I think my best side is your left side. It's actually scientifically proved that most people's best side is their left side. That might be because when you lay on your right side, you have more acne on your right side usually. I have a lot more acne on my right side. I have a pimple right there. Yep, but my left side is my best side in my opinion. Oftentimes you'll see me in a picture like this. 
this is my signature pose. If I don't know what else to do, if I'm in a photo, I just do this. And I like to, I don't know, this side, I think the lines on this side make me look like Lauren London. That might not be true, but that's what I think. I don't care. No one's going to convince me otherwise. I look like Lauren London. It is what it is, okay? See? That's Lauren London. Anyway. But know your angle and know your best side. Most likely it's your left. So go in a mirror. I know it's going to seem tedious, but just be like, see, that side is not cute. This side is cute. It. That goes along with when you're parting your hair. Usually part it on your best side too. It just makes all your photos look better. You can face tune your small things. Now we're kind of moving into editing. When you're face tuning, try and face tune small things. Nobody likes that girl who has face tune everywhere, you know? It looks like straight face tune. When I'm shooting, when I'm taking photos in golden hour, I usually do not face tune my face because golden hour just erases all of my blemishes. Photos like this, where it's just my skin with harsh lighting, like bright lighting, I might face tune this. But things that usually need face tuning are the small, pimples or if you're in golden hour you might want to face tune your teeth because it makes your teeth look a little yellow but as you can see my teeth are pretty white I like to keep them white I take pride in my teeth because they're the only thing that like I really genuinely love about my face and my cheeks because they're so fat and everybody always likes to touch them but I had to stop that but usually whitening up my teeth or something or detailing my eyes I haven't done that in a while actually but that's something that I like to do a lot but those are the three things that I usually do. The last thing for editing that's really important is making sure your photos are vibrant. I like all of my things to be bright and vibrant, you know? So I usually use the vibrancy. I turn up the vibrancy and the lighting just a little bit when I'm editing my photos. But other than that, I do not edit them that much contrary to what people believe. Um... This is awkward. <laughs> anyway, know what colors look good on you. Personally, this melanin pops in everything, but even though my favorite color is yellow, you will not catch me in yellow often. I know most black girls look great in yellow, but really bright yellows, I just it just don't rock with me, especially since I have weird undertones. I don't know. I'm a little bit sketchy about certain colors, but you will not catch me in yellow that much. Even though it's my favorite color, yellow is my favorite color. I love baby yellow. When I have kids... They're going to have like baby yellow everything because I love baby yellow. But you will not catch me in baby yellow. Not her. Not she. Will she? No, she won't. Not her. Um, I usually stay away from flash. One, because if I'm using flash, that means the photo isn't bright. And I don't like not bright photos anyway. If I want something to be brighter, then I will use my ring light. My ring light right here. See the difference it makes? My ring light handles the job for me. But usually that is all my tips. Those are the things that I do. I know I talked a lot and I probably won't even edit this video because it's so raw and like it's just, it's just the way I like I do my photos. There is nothing else to it. But that is how I edit my photos. That is how I take my photos. Those are all the things that are really important to me when it comes to photos. But if you need anything else, I'm like not a famous person at all. If you want to like take photos with me because most people who watch my videos right now actually know me, just hit me up. What? I love taking photos. I love taking photos of other people. That's what people don't actually know. Like, all of my photos are other people taking photos of me. I never take selfies anymore. It's always people taking photos of me. But I love taking photos of other people because I'm really great with angles. And I know people's angles. So I be flicking people up. Just the other day, I was talking to my friend's little sister. And she had asked me to take photos of her. And I was flicking her up. And she was like, what in the world? Like, how are you doing this? Because I know my angles, sis. I know my angles. I'm giving you Lauren London every day. What do you mean? Okay? So, you know, just hit me up. That was a rant, and I don't care, but... <coughs> Goodness. I will see you all next week. Um, I don't know if I did this in the last video because I've fil been filming so many videos. I don't know if I actually said it, but... I decided I'm going to do a giveaway for my first 200 subscribers. I'm going to be giving away two eyeshadow palettes and three lips of my choice. I'm going to find them. They're going to be brand new, of course. And I'm going to give them away. It's only going to go to my first 200 subscribers just because I want it to be fair. And I want it to actually, I want people to actually have the chance to win. I hate those like giveaways that have like a thousand people enter. Like, 
who is has one in a thousand chances that don't make no sense and as i gain subscribers every 200 i'm going to do another one and i'm going to be giving away more things so that people have more chances of actually winning because nobody likes giveaways this is not the lottery okay nobody likes giveaways where you don't have a chance of winning what's the point what's where's the excitement in that you know so I will see you all next week and I hope you liked this video. I hope it was great tips. Again, if there are anything that you want me to specify, just hit me up because most likely you know me or just hit me up on Instagram. I don't mind chatting with people. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, you should. But I will see you all next week.